everybody what's going on I'm ready to go WD-40 on that. What's up, guys? We have just been rolling, dude. We, we made a lot more progress in campaign yesterday. Uh, oh, give me that. Give me it. We are up to here in the campaign. We managed to get through the mission yesterday and catch the Force Keep in time. Uh, now we're hard stuck on the Void mission because um, that should be a thing. You know what I mean? Like, of course it should. Um... <laughs> And then we'll go back and do... Yeah, that's easy. Done. Working on it. Actually, yeah, I'm almost done with that. That's doable. Yeah, all of this is good. Then back to Arena. We're gonna... Once we get to this this Void Keep thing, we're in good shape. We're gonna... We're gonna I think we're gonna cruise right through. Oh man, you better get ready to hear about the sponsor of today's video. Real quick, I wanted to tell you guys about a new feature coming to BlueStacks 10. You can grab it from the link below if you want to download it and check this out as well. Uh, there's a new thing called the Creator Hub. They're introducing mods to games in BlueStacks. So you can download mods that other people have made, you can download pre-made mods, or you can make your own mods. It's actually pretty cool and I'm very excited to see how it develops. But if we come down here into Creator Hub, you've got these different tabs here, right? Uh, you can go to My Hub, which is where all the mods that you upload will be. You can go to Creator Studio to pick which game you want to mod and which mod you want to do. So let's say, for example, you're a Lord's Mobile player. You can come in and change quite a few things on the game. Uh, you can do things as simple as changing some of the screens, like the victory screen, the de defeat screen, things like that. For example, if we want to throw a Spider-Man <laughs> thing on the screen, that's pretty cool. You can find more here. You can upload your own. You can change the color profile of the game. You can add filters to the game so that it looks different. And then eventually, soon, there's going to be the ability to change the 2D and 3D models in a lot of these games. So you could start putting other characters in these games, theoretically, which seems really cool. I would love to see Raid Shadow Legends on this list uh, someday. It would be really cool to mess around with some of the models in Raid. So I'm excited to see how this develops. I think there's a lot of potential here to have a lot of fun with this. So if this interests you guys at all and you want to check it out, I'm going to put a link in the pinned comment. You can go ahead and download BlueStacks 10 and come in here and play around with it. Like I said, you can come in and upload your own things, find things other people have uploaded. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty cool feature. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let's get back to the video. The second tier of these as well. So rolling along. We're doing okay in Arena. We're up in uh, Silver 2 fairly comfortably. Let's go ahead and get this battle real quick. I think, I think I'll get an Ancient Shard from my weekly. Um, I think the last daily I have to do is Arena. And I believe I'm, I'm due an Ancient from that. So let's see. See if I'm right about that. I am right about that. So we got an ancient shard to pop today at the very least. That'll be nice. I don't think I can get one from anywhere else. I did manage um, to pick up some frags. I'm gonna start trying to get broad maw food. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty handy. We're we're getting lucky occasionally in here with with like weak one man. Obviously that we can't beat, but like. Every now and then I'll see some weak one-man defenses. And we can come in here and steal a couple of wins and make a couple of bars, but... Um, it still still sucks. Now let's grab our clan boss. Maybe we'll get something good from clan boss. I believe we should one-key easy from now on as long as it's not force. I'll keep that. Oh, speaking of, we have a lot of gear to go through. I, I, I keep forgetting. We need to go through and look at gear. Um, because I won a couple of tournaments, or I placed in a couple of tournaments, and got some Relentless gear. And then there's other... I've, I've gotten some gear from some rewards and stuff as well. So we've got a lot of gear that I haven't looked at. And we can probably make quite a few upgrades at this point. Right, we've got some speed gear here. I'm going to go through and sell... stuff to them. <clears throat> as we as we go 
But yeah, like it seemed like we got a little bit of relentless speed boots. Let's go. Not bad. Not a bad haul. That's all usable. It's all usable. I'll take it. We'll knock this out. Still trying to get a war maiden. Just can't make it happen. Every champ from every other stage drops so easily, and war maiden just will not come out to play, dude. Maybe that. I thought about putting a uh, frozen banshee on retaliation, but I'm not sure how I feel about that idea. I don't care about any of that right now, honestly. Okay. I thought I won. Why do I only. Why do I have six pieces? Maybe, maybe one of them gave me four and one of them gave me two? I don't remember winning six pieces at once. I thought I won two separate tournaments that gave me Relentless Gear. But maybe not. I don't remember. Speed Boots, though. Alright. Who do we want to put this on? With an HP chest, the crit rate gloves I'm not in love with, but... We don't have to use them either, you know? We could do weapon... Yeah, I must have gotten two five, because these are five star. I must have gotten two five star pieces and then a, a, a four, a set of four. Okay. Who can use these? But on whom? Who would we want on Relentless? I mean, she would cycle back around to her revive quicker. I don't know if that would make that big of a deal the way we're using her right now. Um. Perhaps him, but it's gonna be a second. No, I could four star him soon, I think. Perhaps him. I'm gonna leave her in lifesteal, I think. Do we have a ring for her yet? No. Because if he, if theoretically, I'd have to, I'd have to fix his accuracy and stuff, but theoretically he could A3 and then A2, so we could potentially reset some cooldowns and stun someone. I think a lot of things have to go right for that. Oh, we did take all our books we had and put them in Banshee, by the way. Um, I, I, I do want to put one more here for the, for the debuff chance for the poisons. Um, so as soon as we get another book, she's getting it. Did we get another book yet? No, I'm not giving her an epic book. We'll save those. I don't know. I guess we need to think about who I want Relentless on and who else I want to build. I've been slowly building Broadmaw Fusion Food. Uh, we did pull this dude. Who, again, I don't want the impression to be that I think that this dude's terrible or unusable. I'll probably use him. Uh, I just am annoyed that on my second Void Chart, I pulled someone I confused with Uncommons. That's that's really my big gripe, right? Can, can I just make one of him? Well, I, can, I have to do it with rares, and I'm never going to get a War Maiden, so maybe it is good that we went ahead and pulled him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think he's awful. I'll use him. I just, I want something else. I want something I can't make myself. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't know who I want to put Relentless on yet. But we are going to be looking to upgrade some of our champs sometime soon. So that's what we got going on there. But I'm still, like I said, I'm still having a blast in Arena. Uh, Arena, we're getting a little bit out of our out of our depth here. This is what my lists are starting to look like. But I, I don't, I don't reckon. I think this is unacceptable for 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 Silver too. I have to say, um, I am actually surprised at what Arena looks like. I expected, I expected Arena to look like three v three Arena looks. Uh, this does not feel so bad, right? They're a little bit ahead of me, but that's not. I'm I'm, I'm in Silver too, right? I'm like. I'm in that halfway point between gold and, and the bottom, and um, this doesn't seem unreasonable for me for like middle of the middle of the line. So so far, I think Arena's been good. I haven't seen any teams that I'm like, what the hell are these guys doing down here? Um, even though there's a lot of fights I can't win, perhaps it's a little bit beyond what it should be, but it's it's not nearly as bad as I thought. Three v three is just still completely, absolutely busted, um, which you know. Not much we can do about that. So let's pop this ancient, dude. Let's see what we can get. One one spot for a champ, one ancient. It's meant to be. Who are we gonna get? No epics, no legendaries. Do not give me an epic or a legendary. You understand me? Okay. Chaplain, what do you do? Okay, cool. 
removes all debuffs from a target ally and then heals the target. The heal amount is proportional to this champion's attack. And you can get that down to a three turn. So a single target cleanse. And her heal scales off of her attack. Okay. And then she's got an AoE. Heals all allies by 25% of the damage inflicted. And I can get that down to four turns. <sighs> she's not terrible. This on a three turn. She's not super book hungry either. This could be useful. This could be pretty handy. In Arena. I don't know that I love... Unless she's got decent multipliers, I don't know that I love that she scales off of attack, but it's interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe she presents an opportunity to have sort of a hybrid of someone who can take care of the team and dish out damage. This could be nice. The fact that it's AoE could add up. It's going to depend on what kind of damage we can get out of her. I think we'll probably do something with her. I think I think she's usable. She seems interesting. I think we'll use her. So we've got we actually have a lot of a lot of projects. We have a lot of champs on, on the come up right now. We've got some in the in the inbox too. Let's rank up some of this stuff, see if we can't start. Nope. Lots of brutes. I did finally get an outlaw monk, but uh, I haven't done anything with him just yet. <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't feed him. I'm, I'm gonna keep. No, I don't. I don't need to worry about keeping them right now. I've got one being made. All right, that's fine. So who else do we want to build? No, someone star right now. I do want to get him rolling at some point. Let me see what he does again. Reflect damage on himself. And reflect damage on an ally. Heals this champion when under reflect damage. Also has a 25% chance. Yeah, that's interesting. What's the cooldown here? Three turns? Okay. get anything for being ascended. Outlaw Monk, we're gonna probably bring up. Because we, we would be in business on a, on, a, on a Magic Clan boss. Ooh, we might have to try it today. Might have to try it today. We've got Magic today. So I could put him with Banshee and they could they could do some work. So maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll rush Outlaw Monk up today. Why don't we do that? Do I have any brews for him? A few brews? Let's do that, man. Why not? Actually, yeah, let's do it. I'll just give him everything else I got here. Start getting him ascended. We're good on for on force potions because we had to do that mission, so that's nice. I'll get him four starred and leveled up today, and we'll uh, I'll, I'll probably have to let you guys know how it goes tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do it in this video, but can't skill him up yet either. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for more outlaw monks in the shop and stuff. We could run through some green shards too, honestly, and maybe even get some rares. How much room do I have? Um, let's let's expand our, our 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 roster a bit. We can expand the vault once. Make some room, and then let's expand our roster a little bit as well. And we can go ahead and put some champs. Like he, he's not getting used yet. And then like who's not getting used right now? You, you. And then we'll just throw, we'll just throw some champs 
items in here for now. It's all good. Let's burn through some green shards. Green shard summon session, baby. Let's go. <laughs> There's an outlaw monk. I'll take it. I reckon we're gonna get a rare or two from this too, so this this could be interesting. Let's um let's feed him a few one stars. We'll just do this. We're gonna, we're gonna build our silver back up anyway. You know what we could do too. You know what I think we're gonna do is put him on the relentless set. I think that's the money right there, dude. I think that's the money right there. I think I gotta be careful about skilling him up though. Actually, no, I don't. No, I do wanna skill him up, that's right. He's already got a chance of getting an extra turn. And we can put him on Relentless. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Lean and head, ooh, ooh, ooh! Chandler, what do you do? Heal reduction. Okay. Stun. Okay. Speed buff and okay, there we go. We got us a booster, baby. Our first booster. Because we can't get Diabolus to drop either. I'll take that, dude. I'll take that. Give me some outlaw mugs now. Come on. Don't do me dirty. Bro. We'll start keeping these death hounds at some point too, because I'm 100% gonna use him. His little A1, he's he's actually good. He's weirdly good for a common. Let's keep it going. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. A1, AOE, chance of removing a buff, speed and crit rate. Okay, okay. That's only available with Harrier, which we will absolutely pull at some point. She's not bad. We can use her too. Getting some decent rares from these greens, man. I just want more outlaw monks. We're gonna get him to four star. We'll get him leveled up and we'll try a clan boss run with him today and i'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow um yeah i gotta wrap this up here this episode got longer than i wanted it to get so um yeah you you know the plan you know what we're doing we're kind of hard stuck on the missions till void keep opens back up so now we get to focus a little bit on on our actual roster i might bring to some more green charts today so if i get any more interesting rares i'll let you know tomorrow and uh yeah having a blast man hope y'all have a good one later